Have you ever seen a rosy maple moth? It's that one. So cute, isn't it? I bet you have, but here's something that you haven't seen. The caterpillars and eggs of the rosy maple moth under a microscope. And this is a newly born larva. Magnified. Wow, have you ever seen them this close? What about this rare species of tiger moth? This is a milky tiger moth, Aria Schalactina. And if touched, it likes to play dead. I wonder what happens if we magnify it. This species likes to play dead. That makes it easy to use the magnification to zoom in on its face. Interestingly, we can see the proboscis, the legs and the eyes pretty well. We can also see how a bubble of a defensive secretion seems to form around its mouth parts. Well, it's more of a droplet than a bubble, I suppose. Tiger moths are chemically protected and when they feel threatened, they can secrete poisonous or bitter tasting substances to discourage predators from engaging them. Fascinating to see it so close. Interestingly, it also seemed to be doing something with its abdomen. I'm not sure if this behavior has been documented yet. But it's really amazing to see these moths this close for the first time. Absolutely fascinating. about the wings of an eastern emperor moth, Rinaka Bois de Valle. Here we can see some of the colorful scales that make up the wings of butterflies and moths. Nice detail. Really awesome, right? Well guys, for the first time I'm actually going to promote something a little on my channel because I recently obtained this little tool made by Beaver Lab. I believe it's called the Darwin M2. And I am not the kind of YouTuber who will pos speak positively about anything unless it's, it's a product that I actually really like myself. And I can already tell this little thing is going to make a big difference for my YouTube channel. Uh, when it comes to making close-ups of insects and the other species I usually talk about. Let me talk to you uh, and show you how I received it a few days ago. And so it has become time to unpack this thing. I have a lot to unpack in my life. But today I'm unpacking something different. So I'm gonna demonstrate my uh, intelligence <laughs> by <laughs> not leaving it intact. Anyway, let's see what it's got. That's cute. The wonders of the microscopic world. No, well that's very relevant to my channel, isn't it? Contains these little cute booklets. That's cool. I didn't know it would um, include this. I guess this cute little book contains a lot of examples of things that we could view. Such as 
snowflakes or parts of insects. Very relevant to my channel, very relevant. Wow, this is actually well made, look at that. It's giving me some inspiration of things that we could see. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. Let's see what we got. Even little boxes for specimen collection. That's really cool. Really useful little thing. And it's very nice to see some of the insects that I handle on a daily basis finally magnified. I'd like to show you some more images that I've been making. Just to show you guys the possibility of the things that can be magnified. Overall, the Darwin M2 is a pretty cute and easy to use tool that you can use to magnify pretty much anything and digitalize it. I am for sure going to use this tool for my YouTube channel many times in the future. It allows me to document small insects and see if the eggs of my moths are fertile, for example. I think it's a very useful tool, especially for my YouTube channel. From now on, it's going to make an appearance in my videos. If you are interested in obtaining one for yourself, I'll put my link in the description and in the comment under this video. Thank you guys for watching.